All right, Shalom. First, I'd like to start by saying all praise to Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai, double honors to the elders and apostles that rule well, and salutations um, to um, the elect that's doing the uh, truth and sincerely. So, like Yakim, I was uh, looking up this word, um, but first, I'm going to I'm, I'm read the title. It says, Camps full of homeless take over LA in unprecedented crisis. Now, if you've been watching the news for the last couple of years, and I'm always making a statement, but it's true. You know, um, yeah, people that watch these videos that haven't seen uh, or heard of anything like this, or um, don't, right, right, who haven't seen or heard anything like this, hence the word. The word is uh, um, un. Precedented, which is uh, uh, look it up. It says never done or known before, and this isn't has never been done or known before in the USA. You know, um, camps full of homeless take over LA in unprecedented crisis. But this isn't only happening in in LA. This is happening all around the world, and um, you know they got specific. Uh, uh, you know, I'm um, recorded in Milwaukee. They got this happening in Milwaukee up under a specific bridge. When you come in to Milwaukee, right off the uh, highway. So, um, yeah, yeah, yeah. A lot of the crises and a lot of the uh, prophecies that have been happening lately, or these events, or these tornadoes and stuff, floods, have been unprecedented. So that's like the new word for the world. From here on out, it's unprecedented because everything is going to be the angels. The Lord got the angels setting uh, uh, records, and they're just going to keep setting records. Since the times is getting worse, everything is going to, going to be worse. But yeah, man, uh, ultimately what's going on here is that these people are homeless, and they are sleeping in the streets and um, in tents, you know. And uh, you see the people uh, have gotten smarter. These probably were uh, working class, working people. At one point, more than likely working people, but um, people who um, had understanding, like real, real understanding. And because I'm only saying that because um, they're intense. Before, you can never see a homeless person in tents. You will see them in boxes or something, or just laying out on the street. You've never seen people like actual, actually in tents, you know, camped out. And that's where they live at now, you know. But, um, yeah, this is prophecy because America is going down. And that's a, this is a sign that it's going down right in front of people's face. If, 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 if the jobs are coming back, unemployment is up, then why is all these people turning up homeless? Why is everything unprecedented if these prophecies, if what these events aren't, uh, uh, um, if these, uh, I'm just saying, just take it from me. Why is everything unprecedented? You know, but uh, yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and grab the description. Uh, this is Jeremiah chapter 51. Verse 7, it says, Babylon has been a golden cup in the Lord's hand. Right, Babylon's talking about America. Uh, America was a golden cup because uh, the Lord gave us over to these Edomites and we built up this place, America. America, at one point in time, was the place to come to. Uh, 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 they were not, were not looked at as a, uh, a third world country, uh, a fallen country. The triple A rating has been going down lately, you know. Forsake her and let us um, howl for her. Oops, lucky. It says, Babylon has been a golden cup in the Lord's hand that made all the earth drunken. All the earth was drunken with the philosophies of America. Uh, in particular, uh, the, uh, the money system. The nations have drunken of her wine, therefore the nations are mad because they know the more you hold on to the U.S. dollar, the uh, more their countries uh, uh, come down and start to turn into uh, third world 
uh, countries, you know. But it says, um, uh, Babylon is suddenly fallen and destroyed. How for her? Take balm for her pain. If so, be she may be healed. Right. And uh, America eventually is going to be destroyed. But right now it's on a, a decline uh, uh, monetar uh, monetarily. And uh, can't nobody heal it. That's why I say uh, take balm for a pain. Use balm to heal to uh, as an ointment. To uh, heal uh, wounds and stuff. But uh, the uh, U.S. tried to use more money to heal its uh, uh, country, which is to value the currency, which in turn inflates inflates the dollar. Everything becomes more expensive, you know. And people can't pay for anything more expensive. So they start to uh, shut the jobs down. The jobs start to go overseas. People start to become homeless, you know. And that's what's going on here in this scene. It says, we would have healed Babylon, but she has not healed. Forsake her and let us go, everyone, to his own country for the for her judgment. See, that's what's going on. The judgment of America reaches unto heaven and is lifted up even to the skies. Right. So um, for the simple fact that uh, the um, elites that run this country, family members, right along with these Edomite devils, because there's such thing as reincarnation, had us in slavery. So, and then they turned the whole world wicked. They uh, uh, didn't listen to the law, statutes, and commandments, nothing. So the Lord is bringing this place down. And uh, all this unprecedented crisis stuff that's happening with these people, from uh, uh, being homeless to being uh, um, the tornadoes and the floods and all that, is because it's the judgment of what these people have done uh, in the reincarnation. See, you have to be an Israelite. A black, Latin, and Native American that's uh, chosen of the elect to make it up out of what's coming. So, but I, I'm going to play the video and then I'm going to bring out uh, like another scripture or so. And then jump into uh, another video. This is uh, the prophecy update. unprecedented crisis in LA. We have seen a 12 to 16 percent increase in Skid Row. Uh, we've seen an increase across the state, some 20 to 35 percent increase, because the challenge for us is housing and the cost of housing in the state of California. All right. Lock it. Give me one second. Mm. It's like yeah, okay, I'm, I just noticed something. I did not get to uh, look up this word that he said, but I just did. So I'm we have seen look it up real quick and replay it. This is an unprecedented crisis in LA. We have seen a 12 to 16 percent increase in Skid Row. Wow. Right, that's another term. See, Jake them don't look up words. The uh, term Skid Row is a now informal, um, which means um, a rundown part of town frequently by uh, my, my town frequented by vagrants, alcoholics, and drug addicts. It says a desperately unfortunate or difficult situation, right? And that one, they are going through a desperately uh, unfortunate and difficult situation behind being homeless and having to depend on the government who is uh, having these government shutdowns and has no money, you know. But not only that, it um, uh, the people that are in the, the regions are uh, alcoholics and uh, drug addicts. And if you don't have any money, of course you're gonna turn into an alcoholic or drug addict because you're looking for a uh, a release from your reality. Vagrant. Look at this word vagrant, because I just now noticed you said that. A vagrant is a person without a settled home or regular work. Who wanders from place to place and lives by begging. 
And that's what you see going on. All these homeless people at one point in time weren't homeless. Well, yeah, no, we're not homeless, man. A lot of these people becoming homeless because, you know, they can't work or, or um, uh, uh, you know, there isn't, um, what is it, uh, any jobs, you know, and then they not being uh, relocated to uh, uh, places for them to sleep and everything, as you can see, because those places are going to close down. You know, which ultimately a lot of these people are going to end up being taken to the concentration camps in which they had already been doing that, you know. But, uh, yeah, man, that's what's going on. So I'm going to bring out this uh, this uh, last scripture. Because America is broke. America's in debt. And uh, it's ultimately destroying this place. Which the nations found out that the U.S. was lying about even having money, which was another reason why they start to separate from them and uh, upset with them. But uh, it says, "I have a clue, chapter two, verse four. Behold, his soul, which is not which is lifted up, is not upright in him, but the just shall live by his faith." Right? Whose soul? Esau, the devil, the Edomites. They are the wicked, according to the Bible. The just is the elect of Israel. Not, they're not people that read the Bible. Yea, also because he transgresses by wine, which is his philosophies. His money system is a fraud. You know, according to the scriptures, your money is supposed to be gold and silver, man. And um, shit, resources and uh, was measured also by cattle and stuff back then too, man. But the U.S. Uh, is using a paper dollar. So, I say yea, also because he transgresses, transgresses by wine. He's a proud man. Neither keepeth at home, right? The U.S. is in everybody other, uh, everybody else's countries. Who enlarges his desire as hell and is as death, right? No matter where he go, he's killing everybody. And cannot be satisfied, and they cannot be satisfied. But he gathered unto him all nations, with which America is known as the melting pot. All the nations are in America right now. And heapeth unto him all people, right? Shall not all these take up a parable parable against him and a taunting proverb against him and say woe to him that increases that which is not his right destruction see the elites that's using america thought that, that they were going to get, get away with this the generals and the presidents of america thought that they were going to get away with this so the lord said destruction unto them it says um woe to him that increases that which is not his right because he stole it rape rob and murder it's actually starting from Israel, the black stars and Native Americans, man. That's why the Lord judged in this place. But not only have they stole from us, they stole from all the other nations too, though. It says, how long and to him that lives himself with thick clay. Thick clay is talking about debt, man. America's in debt and it's going down because of it. Because these people, these nations require their money. And if you can't pay them back, that's when they just cut off your dollar, and which, uh, uh, which is going to break your system up. One more. This is Zephaniah chapter 1. I'm just jumping to the point. Verse 11 it says, How ye, how ye inhabitants of Mechtes, talking about Wall Street, for all the merchant people are cut down, all they that bear silver are cut off. Right? So ultimately, the U.S. monetary system is going to crash, which is the reason why they're bringing in the uh, uh, RFID chip, which is the mark of the beast according to the scriptures, according to the Bible. So what you see here is going to be uh, a whole lot worse. You know, it's going to be riots. Diseases everywhere and death everywhere behind uh, 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 having no money because people can't feed, can't feed their kids with no money, can't live in these houses with no money. 
So it's going to be all types of chaos going on in that day. I'm going to jump to this uh, next video and then uh, end it on that. The Lord got us where these angels are sparing nobody. What you see happening in these other countries is happening in the U.S. also. But for those um, of uh, those states and uh, states that haven't been hit by stuff like this, they're going to get it soon. People be catching diseases and stuff in them waters too. Get a cut, and uh, uh, um, you get an infection that doesn't get cured on time, or probably that they would say can't be cured because you ain't got no insurance and no money. You're gonna die. That's something that they don't ever mention in the news. People be getting cuts and stuff and. Be catching infections and be dying from them. They don't be mentioning that in the news. But um, this is a uh, second Ezra chapter fifteen, verse one. Behold, thou speak, thou in the ears of my people the words of prophecy. Right, what you see happening in these like, this these two clips I brought out is prophecy, which I will put in thy mouth, said the Lord, and cause them to be written in paper, which is the Bible. For they are faithful and true, right? So we got all this, all our words and the scriptures and the things that we speak on out of the Bible. Because the Lord put it, put the words in our mouth. Fear not the imaginations against thee. Right? So we're not afraid of nothing that these people say they're going to do unto us because we believe in this word, man. And then look what's coming to these people, man. Let not the incredulity of the unbelief of them trouble thee. Trouble thee that speak against thee. Right? So we're not afraid of what people say they can do against us, one. And uh, we don't care if they don't believe, too. It says, for all the unfaithful shall die in their unfaithfulness. Right. So those who don't believe don't die. Behold. It's right. And, and, and picture that. You're killing off. You're trying to kill somebody or beat somebody up that has the word of the Heavenly Father because you don't believe in it. But the Lord said that, you know, yeah, you put your hands on my prophet, but I'm going to kill you for that. So it says, uh, Behold, said the Lord, I will bring plagues upon the world, the sword, famine, death, and destruction. Right, and this is one of them uh, uh, plagues. For wickedness hath exceedingly polluted the whole earth, and their hurtful works are fulfilled. Right, so it's wickedness going on around the whole world right now. So the Lord bringing plagues upon this place. When a kingdom come, all the nations are going to have to learn the law, statutes, and commandments. And we know the Chinese, they're eating all types of abominable foods. And we got some of our people over there that's doing the same thing. So no matter how you look at it, it's called the confusion of faith. No matter how you look at it, Israel getting judged all across the world, man. Right along with these nations, man. And them Chinese don't like us no how, no way, because they took the same counsel. They went up under the same counsel with uh, Esau to keep us asleep. And on top of that, the scriptures say that they are uh, 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 just like uh, Babylon, just like America. They like their twin, man. And that's an apocryphal. So that's what they get over there in China, man. But uh, with that being said, all praise to Yahweh Shema Shai, Bashem Karkadash, double honors to the elders and apostles that were well, and salutations to the brothers and sisters of truth and sincerity. Shalom.